Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing and today we are going to be unboxing and I guess pack opening a box of 24 booster packs for Disney's Lorcana, specifically their most recent iteration of the game Into the Inklands. Uh, this is not the first cards of these I've ever seen. I bought a few booster packs because, don't tell Disney, but I was playing it digitally with some friends uh, in a not necessarily legal manner and I liked it so I thought you know what I'm gonna pick up some booster packs just single packs from a friendly gaming store and from one of them I drew a card of the rarest availability that the game has called an enchanted card that I then sold for considerably more than one booster pack would cost and with that money I got from selling that, I bought myself a video game I was after and I decided I want more of these cards, so I picked up this booster box. I am actually after some specific cards from this, uh, the Inklands set. I'm interested in making a Titan deck, um, Titans from Hercules, if you aren't aware. So we're going to open these today. Um, I'm not looking to make like money back from this or anything. I consider myself, my luck's all been used up for the next few months. This is just, I want to make a deck. So I'm looking for Titan themed cards, I'm looking for Steel and Amethyst cards specifically. That's two of kind of like the, the elements cards can be in this game. It's very similar to Magic if you're not aware. So we're going to open these today. We'll look at the, they should have information about the rarities uh, somewhere. I think on the packs for sure. But I don't think it says on the back here, surprisingly. It just says how many there is. Yeah. Well, either way, I'll get the poly wrap off and we're going to get started. All right, so here's how the display box is after you open it, pull the tab there, and we have our cards. So on the back of it, I believe it should specify, because I think legally you have to specify the chances of certain rarities, right? Uh, each player needs a 60 deck cards of Lorcana to play, and this particular set has over 200. And the rarities somewhere? They actually, oh yeah, there we go. So there's 12 cards, and one of them has to be a foil, but it could be any rarity. There's two rares or higher rarity, three commons, uh, uncommon, sorry, and six commons. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus the foil, yep, and the twelve cards. Doesn't actually have the specific percentages of rare versus super rare. Generally, you go by the number of pips on the bottom of the, bottom middle of the card. And if we get an enchanted, which I don't think we will, but if we did, they look especially fancy. Their, their art is full sized and the symbol on the bottom is is very you, you'll see it if we if we get one so I'm not sure how I want to do this I think if we zoom in to this kind of distance so that is just the the common I'm gonna put it into neat piles between takes for each pack uh, so we'll just we'll do this gently our second common is made Marion the art on them is very very nice uh, I will say the cards are cheaper than I was expecting compared to the Transformers TCG but maybe that's why the Transformers TCG went out of business <laughs> Uh, the one from Wizards. By the way, if you hear any noise in the background, that is a rainstorm outside. Webby Vanderquack. That's from the newer DuckTales, which I'm not super familiar with. So this should be our last common, I think, because it was four, right? Nope, there, or was it six? Patch, one of the 101 Dalmatians. So that their type is the color of the bar here. Kit Cloud Kicker from, um, oh, I forgot what that cartoon was called. The one that had Baloo and he had a son, even though it wasn't Jungle Books. That's uncommon, so that's a different pile. Thaddeus E. Clank. I have... Clang, sorry. I have no idea who that is. Nope. Treasure Planet, maybe? And then... Do it this way, I guess. Last Ditch Effort. This is... Oh, yeah, okay. Then we're going into our rares or better slots. So there's two of those. And our first one is Piglet. With a pirate sword. He lost his eye in battle. And then after that we have... Another one. Helga Sinclair. I also don't know who you are. My apologies. And then our foil is the Heart of Atlantis, which I think, I can't remember what that symbol is. I think that's just the box standard rare symbol. Now, oh, it is actually, it is showing up on camera pretty well. I was a, a little disappointed with how holographic the hollows were from the, the four boosters I opened uh, prior to this, but actually, if you catch the light, it's pretty neat. We will speed up, by the way, so I'm going a little bit slower to start with. All right, here is the next pack. And they open smooth. I forgot to show you the, the cardboard pullouts. It's got a rule primer and also new rules added for this uh, Inklands wave. All the rules are free online on their website. I read them before buying any packs. 
pretty easy to follow. If you if you've ever played Magic, you'll be pretty. You know, you can pick this up and just know what you're doing. So we've got E Magic Broom. That's, I think I'm interested in getting quite a few of those. Grandma Tala. Oh, there we go. That's the kind of thing I want because this would be good in a Titan deck. Olympus would be that way. We've got Peter Pan. There's about a billion versions of Peter Pan already. One of the Lost Boys. I don't speak that. But it's Kida. And Atlantean. And then we're on to our uncommons. Yes, okay, so this is one of the titans. I, I want lots of these titans. And they're split across the amethyst and the steel types, as far as I'm aware. So I might put that to one side especially, because that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in. We've got Hook Ship, the Jolly Roger. Locations are a new thing added into this wave of cards. And then our last one is Simba, Rightful King. Uh, this is attack... This is their health, how much they cost to play, that kind of stuff, and then their basic rules on the card. So we've got a standard rare in the form of Stitch. And we've got the Heart of Tefiti. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And our Hollow is a common Maid Marion. Oh, shiny version of the card we just saw. Alright, got the next pack, but I've got common, uncommon, rare, super rare, and I'm putting the Hollows into their own separate pile just off camera there. We'll see what that looks like at the end. And cards that I'm very specifically interested in for a deck I want to make, I put to one side as well. Not sure how likely it is I'll get two to three versions of every card I want for it, but hey, that's partially why I'm doing this as well. It's just a bit of an experiment. And I'm not 100% sure of what I want all the other cards to be, because all the Titan cards are very expensive in terms of like their cost to play. So we have Diablo, I believe that's Maleficent's Raven, I think. We have Pluto, we have Kida, but a different version. Kakamora, I think. Sir Hiss from Robin Hood. Mr. Snoops. Nope, no idea who you are, but you have a lot of health. In our uncommons, we have Wildcat from that one show again I've forgotten the name of. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Iago doing a dive bomb and then oh we have a rare or super rare I forget the de denominations but it's Little John from Robin, Robin Hood very nice and then same rarity we have Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid I think it's been a while and our hollow is a common I don't know who that is but it is a common holographic repair so looking at it I think common uncommon rare uh, well, I, there's two denominations of rare though, because there's definitely a gold version, because I had one of those in one of the packs I opened before buying this booster box, so I'm not sure what that would be. Rare, super rare, ultra rare, and then enchanted, maybe? Well, we'll worry about that if I actually get any. Let's get this in focus. The Firebird. Looks like a phoenix. Oh, hey, we just got a hollow of you. Chief Dewey. Again, apologies if I pronounced that incorrectly. Moana. Oops. Then we have Strike a Good Match. That's a song, which is a mechanic in the game. Basically, they're basically spells. Although actions can also be considered that, I guess. Joshua Sweet. Don't know you. And we have our uncommons. We've got Pluto. Her Far Al Go. Another song. Mama Odi. It's a fun card. Oh, and then we're in. Oh, nice. Okay, so another card I want a Tornado Titan. Stratos. So that's not going in the pile, that's going in my pile of cards I wanted. And we have Helga Sinclair. And then our Hollow. Oh, very nice. Okay. We have a Shiny Hydros. I'm counting that, that's going in my pile of wants. I'm, it's fine one of them shiny. If you want to see the difference there. So, shiny one on the left. Without the studio light, like, catching it, it's not super easy to tell. Like, it kind of looks like the right one is the hollow one, doesn't it? Until you turn it just a little bit, and then you see, oh, obviously, it's the left one. But, yeah, not as much difference. Like, the, the Transformers TCG cards looked, felt, and were probably more expensive, which is partially why it failed. I feel like a lot of these packs have Piglet on the front. That Piglet card we, we got, in fact. Not that many of them have Mini, and then Jafar is the other one. That seems to be the three variants. Alright, get rid of the card. And yeah, speaking of Iago, here we have him. Give it a moment. Camera's 
having problems. There we go. All right, let's start. Made Marion again. That's the second one of those we've had. Gizmo suit. I got one of them in one of the boosters I opened. Webby Vanderquack. That's just very fun to see. Milo Thatch. Boss's orders. That's what you call him. The one we just saw, and I didn't know where he was from. Uncommons. Dewey. Little John, but in a different. Well, he's in disguise. Chernoblog's fo Bog's followers. I only really know him from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, and then we have Ursula Sea Witch in her wedding gown. That's disturbing looking. And our next rare space or better is John Silver. Okay, so that must be Treasure Planet then. And the hollow is. Oh, it's a hollow location. It is Tiana's Palace. Neat. Alright, Minnie's on the front of this one. If you have any advice, by the way, for a Titan themed deck, by all means let me know because I was never that great at deck building for the brief time I played Magic. I used to just go buy the the ones they sell you pre-made or net listing and yeah, I, I never could quite get a grasp of it. So we have the Queen, we have Captain Amelia, I can't tell who that is, Helga Sinclair but a different iteration. Nutsy, I'd say he's crazy. Skippy from Robin Hood, I think again. Cleansing Rainwater. Starkey, do not trust this man if you find him in the jungle. Nan, what? And then our rare slots are better. Oh no! After <laughs> Flintheart Gloomgold, another fun name to say. The angry old Scotsman. Hmm, I wouldn't be able to relate to that. Alright, first rare slot. Treasure Guardian from Aladdin. And then the second one is... Oh, it's better. It's Tinkerbell Very Clever Fairy. And our hollow is... Maui, but in Soaring Demigod form. That, honestly, that kind of looks a little bit disturbing. Ah, here we go. Jafar's on the front of this one. Got a good feeling about it. Look at this trustworthy face. Who, who couldn't trust him? Absolutely. Let's see. Get rid of these. And, oh, well, it's fitting that the Iago is here. King Louis, King of the Swingers Woo. Robin Hood. I wouldn't mind making a steel and then emerald. Is that the green one? It's got to be, right? Whatever the green one is, mixed kind of Robin Hood character deck. I, I feel like that's probably something that's workable. Voyage is an action. Flotsam and Jetsam from Ursula. Or rather from the Little Mermaid, but they work for Ursula. An adorable Dalmatian puppy that has one hand missing. In our uncommons, we get a second Wildcat. Trigger, the other Vulture. Another Little John in disguise. And then. A Rulian Gyro Sensor. Okay, and then the next one is. Ooh! We're getting our first super duper rare. What is it though? It's Mickey Mouse blowing his gigantic trumpet. Well, stop laughing. Send the call, play a character for free if you tap him and pay two ink. That seems pretty good, although he's easy to take out. And then our foil. Zazu! Steward of the Pride Lands from The Lion King. More piglets. His piglets all the way down. Alright, let's see. Are. Let's see what awaits us. Magicka Dispel from DuckTales. A Distract Action card. Oh, Nottingham Palace. Another Voyage card that's two in a row. I think that's two Flotsams. It, it was Flotsam la last time as well, right? That's two in a row as well. Another part. No, it's a different art, but it is ostensibly the same card. Prince John, sleeping with his money and sucking on his thumb. It's our first uncommon. Then we have a horrifying looking Scroop. That is, that's good art. We've got Nala. And then our first better, oh, the boss is on a roll. It's a song, obviously, from The Little Mermaid. Oh, and then rarer we have, ooh, my friend has the enchanted version of this. Because I was talking to him when I, I discovered I got a uh, enchanted card, so I was like, how much is it worth, and what do you have? They tell me about them, and said, oh, I've got one, I've got Turnabog's enchanted card. If this normal version looks this cool, yeah, I can understand why the enchanted version is worth even more. 
because it's pretty cool looking as well. He showed me it. And then, oh, oh, fantastic. It's a second Hollow Titan. It's Byros. Now I just need many, many more. So as we open this one, I'm what? One, two, three, four, five cards deep into the 60 that I need for a deck. Although, as I say, I definitely need some cheaper cards to run alongside Titans because they're all way too expensive. I guess you've got to try. I, like, I think brooms might work. You've got to have something to facilitate your early game and try and speed up your, your ink gain, which is your mana, essentially. Another repair, known haul, obviously. Mickey Mouse, a different version of him. Billy Bones, keeper of the map. Treasure Island, it's got to be right. Or Treasure Planet, whichever. A second Skippy, I think that's two in a row. Quick Patch. It's bothering me, I can't remember the name of the show. <laughs> I watched it any time I caught it. And then Uncommons. A different, a green version of Ursula, Ursula Deceiver. Wildcat's Wrench. Slightly, one of the Lost Boys from Peter Pan. And then, Starlight Vile. N nope, don't know where that's off, uh, from offhand. Oh, and then Rarer. Genie, supportive friend. Look how many hands he's got. And then the Hollow. Oh, well, that's fitting. Magic Carpet. I think like the, one of the first cards we actually opened in this video so far was Magic Carpet. So it's all come full circle. The last Jafar pack was lucky, so I've got a good feeling about this one as well. Villains, they never steer you wrong. Let's see. Oh, that's adorable. We've got Pua? 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 I don't, I'm not familiar with the character, but they are adorable, and if anything ever happens to them, we'll betide whoever did it. Vault Door, that's Scrooge McDuck's a Vault Door. Helga Sinclair again. Nutsy again. Airfoil, that's the, the thing he was writing. Oh. Off to Never Neverland. Then our uncommons. Genies, speaking of genie, cramped in the lamp. Ooh. Tuzco's Palace, home of the Emperor. Shmee! Bumbling mate. And then our radar slots. Audrey Ramirez, that's the one from that one card we keep getting, the repair card. And then, ooh, we've got ourselves some gold. Kida Protector of Atlantis. I have no idea who you are, but that's a very fancy looking card. And our hollow is, oh, it's a hollow of one of the Dalmatians. A different art again, I think. What did I tell you about Jafar packs being lucky? I'm going to keep the super duper rares, whatever they're actually called, right there. We've had two, I, I presume there'll be a minimum of three or four, assuming it's like the old Transformers TCG. If that's just like the industry standard of roughly how much you should expect from a booster box. Second Magic Dispel, we've got a second Distract. <laughs> we've got Eeyore breaking a, a bridge with his fat bottom. That's adorable. Agrabar, home of Aladdin. Zazu, that's our second Zazu, oh, this one isn't holographic, obviously. Miss Bianca. Then our uncommons, oh hey, there we go, there's Jafar. Oh, he's a pretty cheap one, actually. Maybe Jafar would work in a Titan deck. A third dive bomb, I think. Oh, need this card, because it's for Titans, and also for destroying locations just in general, so I'm putting that with the cards I want to keep. Gyro Gear Loose is our first rare or better. Oh, two gold in a row. Okay, well, we have Ursula, Deceiver of All. I don't want much, just the most powerful lore. It's fancy. And our hollow is a common. It is Kakamura. But that is that's card number three right there. I believe we're nearing the halfway point. It was 24 packs. Uh, I don't think we're quite at 12. Maybe we are. Either way, we've certainly got a lot of common cards, if nothing else. All right, we have Bestow a Gift, which is hopefully in focus now. There we go, another Kit Cloud Kicker. That's a different version. Very cheap as well. Second one of that version of Kida. Della Duck. Oh, Deville Manor, 101 Dalmatians. Heal What Has Been Hurt. It's a song from Rapunzel. I've only seen bits of Rapunzel. It was at a Christmas dinner one year. It Calls Me. It's a first uncommon. First time we've seen that one as well. Oh, we got a shiny version of this earlier. Oh, there we go. There's a Titan. Lethos, Lithos. Either way, I want Chiss. 
And then our first rare is Maui's Place of Exile, so I'm just putting that to one side because that's one of the ones I want. And our second rare or better is the Sheriff of Nottingham, looking very happy about all the money he's stealing. And our hollow shiny is, oh, two Deville Manors in one pack. All right, Jafar, you haven't steered me wrong so far. You seem to be on the least number of these packets though, I will say that. He's good luck. Well, we got our second Pua Powell, adorable pig thing. We got our second Vault Door. This feels like a, I'm having deja vu. Is this the same first three cards in a pack from like two ago? All right, we definitely haven't seen this, so it's different now, but still. Milo Thatch. Mr. Snoops, that was the name of the guy going in the window. Mr. Snoops. Our uncommon Wendy Darling from Peter Pan. The first time seeing that. Mont Motuni? M Motunui, I think. Yeah, if it's maybe M Motunui, yeah. Another magic broom, but the uncommon type. I think there's like three versions of broom. Oh, and our first rare bear is Pride Lands from Lion King. Our second is Peter Pan Lost Boy Leader. Not who I'm after, but that's okay. And we've got Jim Hawkins as our shiny. All right, we've got a piglet pack. The most common it feels like. But that doesn't necessarily mean the cards inside are. We've got another Firebird to start with once the camera finds it. There we go. Just want to make sure they are in focus when I start drawing them. Captain Amelia is our second one of them. Chief Tui, second one of him, I think. Milo Thatch, we just saw him. Strike a Good Match, one of his songs. Patch, the Angry Dalmatian. Then our Uncommons, Tinkerbell Generous Fairy, so that's the, a different version of her. Second Jafar. Sumerian Talisman. Ta Talisman. Isn't it spelled like Talisman? Hmm. Rafiki! I've used this when we were illegally playing this digitally. <laughs> it's a good card. And then we have Bernard. I don't know you. And our shiny is. Oh! On your feet now. It's Captain Hook. Alright, our next pack has Mini on the front. All of these all been super smooth. Lena Saberwing. They've added a lot of characters to Duck Tales, haven't they? I never saw the new version. Grandma Tala. Nottingham, but not in shiny version. I think we got the shiny version earlier. Her second Stitch Little Rocket. Don Carnage. Orville. Not to be confused with the Orville. That's the bird from Little Mermaid, right? Then our uncommon 99 puppies. It's, it's a horde. The Sorcerer's Tower. Oh, that works well with brooms. Good to know. Scroop. It's probably the, the scariest looking art we've had so far. And our first rare is Fang the River City. Not sure where that's from. And our second is... Baloo! But from the cartoon that I keep forgetting the name of. And our shiny is... Oh, the Helga Sinclair card we've seen a few of. It's a Jafar pack. It hopefully means something. Was that cartoon called Tailwind? That name just kind of... I, I swear I didn't check between cuts. Was it Tailwind? Was that what it was called? I, mean, I will go check after I'm done here. But either way... Oh, that's a new location. The Forbidden Mountain. Is that Maleficent? Oh, yeah. Literally says on it. It's Maleficent, Maleficent's Castle. Right there. Rufus. That is a very old cat. He has a bushy moustache. Baboom! Deal two damage to a character or location. Peter Pan, Neverland Hero. Deville Manor, we've seen a few of these, including one hollow. Kida, with the writing that I'm not sure what it says. Our uncommon Scrooge McDuck swimming around in his money. Don't try and do that in real life, you will die. Friar Tuck. Simba, that's our second version of that Simba. And then our first, rarer better, is Alice the Tea Alchemist. And our next one is... Ooh, we've got gold. I think that might be the last gold we're going to get then. And it is... Oh, Scrooge's Lucky Dime. This one simple coin changed Scrooge's life forever. And our shiny is an uncommon genie stuck in the lamp. So just as a reminder, that was Jafar on the front again. I think that's three out of four of them were on or in Jafar packs. This one is just a piglet pack, but... 
I'm sure it's just it's just chance, but it's weird how that works out. Speaking of chance, the very first card is for the second time in a row, Maleficent's Castle. Deja vu again. Okay, change now, but still. We've got Mickey Mouse, Billy Bones, Zazu. I think that's three for him, including one hole. Boss's orders. I think that's the third of that. Robin's bow. Be good for a Robin Hood themed deck, I presume. Hee <laughs> hee. And then Smee. And we're onto our rare to bear. Yes, we are. Oh, nice. Okay, another card I'm after. And after that is the Sorcerer Town. Just putting that. So the last one of those we got was a hollow version, but that's fine. Speaking of hollows, is oh, the little John we've already seen at least two of. Well, now he comes in shiny form. So after this pack, I believe there is six left. Although, I th again, if it's similar to the Transformers TCG, I imagine that's all of our rare slots, or our super rare slots filled. But I don't know if that game, or this game, uh, work the same way. We'll just have to open them and see. The Queen Kick Cloud Kicker. Oh, I want this card. This goes in my pile over here. <laughs> Della Duck, just making sure it's staying in focus, sorry. There we are. I'll find my way from Hercules. Cleansing Rainwater. That's the second one of those we found. Two Scrooge McDucks in a row. Right there. Friar Tuck. Captain Hook's Rapier. And then... Bear Bear. Mufasa. Champion of the Pride Lands. And... Oh, okay. Something good. Lyle Tiberius Rourke. What a trustworthy fellow he looks like. And has set my heart. I ain't singing that. So there's five left after this. This is the second last Jafar pack. I think there's two of each character on the front left. So, second last opportunity to give me things I'm looking for and they've been pretty consistent so far. I think I want these magic brooms, so that is a good start. Second or third King Louis. Second or third Robin Hood, interested in that too. Kakamura, that's our third, I think, including the hollow version. Two I'll Find My Ways in a Row, Miss Bianca. Second 99 Puppies is our first uncommon. Flintheart Gloomgold. Magic Dispel is our first version that are of that version of her. And then Rare Better, we've got Cursed Merfolk, Ursula's Handiwork. And Mama Udi, different version of her from the version we saw previously. And our shiny, ooh! Her shiny is a gold one? That is gold, right? I think it is. Oh, very nice. Robin Hood Champion of Sherwood. That is a fancy shiny card. I like it. I don't remember that movie, uh, that, that moment from the movie, so it must just be for the purposes of the art. It's nice looking. That uh, is a, okay, that's probably our luck. <laughs> now, it was from a Jafar pack. It's, it holds true. So this is our second last mini pack. We'll do it in that order. We have to have exhausted every like super rare slot now though. So we can speed up. Lena Sablewing, we've got McDuck Manor, that's our first one of those. Mini Mouse, second Agrabah, second or third Don Carnage, second or third Quick Patch, enter our uncommons. The Chubby Dalmatian Rolly. Scrooge's top hat, neat. Turner blogs follow. I keep on saying blog, not bog. Followers, and then our rares. Friend like me, classic song from Aladdin, and Minnie Mouse musical artist. And then we saw it was a common for our shiny. It's Mr. Snoops, whoever you are. All right, second last piglet pack. Mr. Snoops is probably from 101 Dalmatians, right? Is he Cruella's crony? I haven't seen that since I was a very small child. No, I'm just a very large child. Let's see. We have Bestow a Gift again. I think that's second. Uh, another McDuck Manor. Razul from Aladdin. Second Jim Hawkins, non-shiny this time. Looking like Sora there from Kingdom Hearts 3. We finally got a Jetsum instead of a Flotsam. Joshua Sweet. Then our uncommons are Pluto, Genie stuck in the lamp, or sorry, cramped in the lamp. Another magic broom. And then our rares are better. Oh, the first shiny we got. Heart of Atlantis normal version. Moana, and then a shiny. Peter Pan Lost Boy Leader. 
So there's only two packs left after this one. I had to do the Jafar one first, although I don't think it's going to top that, but whatever. That's okay. I'll, I'll accept just one Titan card of some variety. It can be a common, I don't mind. Just things I want. I, I think I want to have a cheap card like Diablo in the deck as well. So having another one of him, I'm counting that as a win already. Pluto, Kaboom, Jim Hawkins again, two in a row. Airfoil, I think that's our second one. Off to Never Never Land. Then our Uncommons has set my heart, non shiny version this time. Tiana's Palace, or Place, Palace. Second slightly. Then our rares are Captain Hook, Morph, that's the, I got the enchanted version of them in one of those boosters I bought, that's the version I sold. And hey, a shiny magic broom. Let's save Mini to last, we'll do the Piglet one first, why not? All I'm after this point, as I drop the pack, is Titan cards. So I didn't get that many, unfortunately, considering how many packs we've opened. Although a lot of them are, you know, uncommon or rarer. So Magic Broom, we've got Louie. I don't think we even got Hui Dewey Louie. <laughs> I think we're, miss we're missing one. Gizmo Suit. Milo Thatch. Another Jetsam. Second Orville, I think. Kit Cloud Kickers are first uncommon. I've got a dream. Your face is on fire. The Bayou, that's our first one of that location, I think. And a rare bear. Pluto Determined Defender. And, oh. Windy Darling, Authority on Peter Pan, and our shiny is Minnie Mouse. That I was going to say that's apt, but nope, she's on the front cover of the one pack we have left. And here it is, the final one. Let's see what's inside. And then we'll quickly go over the best results, and then what I got for the deck I actually want to make. Although there are going to be tertiary cards that I, I don't really know that I need yet. Like I think maybe Magic Brooms, I think maybe Magic Carpet, just cheap cards to have an early game. Oh, there's Louie again. There's the Minnie Mouse, but non-shiny version this time. Moana, Cubby, the Lost Boy, Heal What Has Been Hurt, non-shiny. Cuzco's Palace is our first uncommon. Jolly Roger, two locations in a row. Hey, I got a card I wanted. And our first rare. Oh, we did get Hui Dui Lui. Nice. And then our second is. Oh, it was Bear. And it is Ariel, about to get eaten by a shark. And our last shiny is. Captain Amelia, who we saw a couple of times previous. And so that is going to do it for the unboxing of a Disney Lorcana booster box for Into the Inklands. We got ourselves Mickey Mouse Trumpeter. We got ourselves Kida Protector of Atlantis. Ursula, Deceiver of All. The lucky penny that Scrooge McDuck has, and probably the best of the results, the Robin Hood Champion of Sherwood, shiny hollow super ultra whatever rare version it's called. Not an enchanted card, but that's okay, I, I knew that I wasn't going to get one of those because I exhausted all my months worth of luck in uh, buying four booster packs long before this. In terms of cards I got that I want for my deck, we got a single Stratos, we got two Lithos, or Lithos, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. We have two Olympuses that way. We just pull back a little bit. We have one Rise of the Titans. We have two Hydros, one of which is hollow. And we have two Pyros, one of which is hollow. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is not a great pool for like looking for very specific things. I think in those instances, given that like you can get single cards for like a dollar you probably just want to go shopping but that takes away the fun of trying to find and trade for what you want but either way you can let me know how i got on in terms of the average because i don't know um what are the expected averages from one of these kind of booster boxes i wasn't looking for an enchanted i've already had one it, it paid for this or paid towards this uh, i am looking to make a deck though so again if you have any advice for what to combine with titan cards let me know i'm, I'm thinking either magic brooms or jafar maybe Maleficent's Bird, you, you can let me know. I, I don't want to completely the net list, but I'll take some advice. Thank you for watching. Either way, I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And, you know, let me know if you want to see this kind of thing in the future, if I end up getting any more. And, and we'll see. Thank you for watching, though. And until next time, ta-ta for now.